Hello friends, today I will discuss about fault current distribution in case of delta star transformer. So in this video, I will discuss about three case studies that is three phase fault, double phase fault and single phase to ground fault in the star side and what will be the current distribution in the delta side for this type of fault. So in this figure, a delta star transformer has been shown and this is the HB side winding and this is the LV side winding and this is the red yellow and blue phase respectively of the high voltage side uh, delta winding and this is the red yellow and blue phase respectively of the LV side winding of the star side transformer and the transformation ratio or uh, the turn ratio is 1.73 is to 1. So what does it mean that is the induced voltage in the red phase divided by induced voltage in the uh, rate phase uh, in the secondary is, is equal to 1.73. So let us first discuss about current distribution in case of delta star transformer on three phase fault in the star side of the winding. So in this figure you can see that there is three phase fault occur and uh, for the ease of calculation let us consider that, that fault current is 1 ampere for each phase. So, in case of red phase, yellow phase and blue phase, 1 ampere current is flowing. Since the turns ratio is 1.73 is to 1, so as per the turns ratio, since uh, V1 by V2 is equal to 1.73, so I2 by I1 will be uh, 1.72. So, whatever be the current in the red phase, that the current in the HB side red phase will be divided by root 3. So, here the current comes as 1 divided by root 3 or 1 divided by 1.73 which comes as 0.58 ampere. So 0.58 ampere current in each phase will flow in the primary side or delta side winding. So due to flow of the 0.5 ampere, 0.58 ampere in each phase, the line current will be root 3 times of that of the phase current. So here the line current will be 1 ampere for red phase, yellow phase and blue phase respectively. So this is the fault current distribution for delta star transformer for three phase fault. Uh, now let us uh, discuss another case study that uh, fault current distribution for delta star transformer for phase to phase fault occur in the uh, star side of the transformer. So in this case, a phase to phase fault occur in the star side for red phase and yellow phase. So here a phase to phase fault occurs. So fault current, uh, let us consider the fault current is 0.87 ampere. So this 0.87 ampere current will flows from the rate phase uh, to the fault point and it will come back to the uh, B phase and it will come to the uh, yellow phase winding and come back to the uh, fault point via rate phase winding. So 0.87 ampere currents will flows from uh, this direction towards the fault point, but uh, 0.87 ampere will current flow uh, exactly opposite direction for yellow phase. So due to this, uh, as per the turns ratio, since the turns ratio is 1.73 is to 1, so here the uh, fault current will be 0.87 divided by 1.73, which comes as 0.5 ampere. So due to this, the current will be uh, for red phase will be 0.5 ampere and for yellow phase will be 0.5 ampere, but direction will be in opposite. So since uh, the direction of the red phase and yellow phase current is exactly opposite in nature, so the line current will be uh, this current uh, minus this current comes as uh, 1 ampere. Since it is a 0.5 at an angle 0 degree, it is 0.5 at an angle 180 degree. So, uh, the rate phase line current comes as 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 at an angle 180 degree which is equal to 1 ampere. And for your phase only 0 0.5 ampere current flows uh, towards the line and for blue phase or for C phase in the line current of the delta side winding, this current will come back and will flow towards the line. So this is the current distribution for the delta star winding for phase to phase fault current. So another case study is uh, fault current distribution in case of delta star transformer for fault occur in the star side 
for single phase to earth fault. So let us consider a single phase to earth fault occur in the red phase. So for ease of calculation, let us consider that fault current is one ampere. So red phase in the red phase winding, one ampere will current flow towards the fault point and it will come to the ground and it will try to flow towards the uh, earth uh, or neutral which is grounded to the earth and come back to the red phase. So this is how the fault current will flow in the star side of the winding. So due to flow of this uh, current uh, in the star side, uh, the flow of the primary side or the in the HB side, uh, only red phase current will be there and as per the turn ratio 1.73 is to 1, the red phase current will be 1 divided by 1.73 which comes as 0.58 ampere. So since 0.58 ampere current flow in the only red phase of the delta side of the winding, in the line current uh, in the red phase current will flow 0.58 ampere towards this direction and for the blue phase or for the C phase, the line current which flows 0.58 ampere towards the outside direction. So what is the observation that is the uh, in the star side of the winding only a single phase to earth fault occur but which convert as phase to phase fault in the uh, delta side of the transformer that is the uh, only red phase and blue phase current will uh, flow in the line side line current of the delta side of the transformer that is 0.58 ampere flow in the red phase towards this direction and but uh, for blue phase the direction will be uh, exactly opposite of the red phase current. So this is three case studies for fault current distribution for delta star transformer for three phase fault, phase to phase fault and phase to earth fault. So friends if you like my video then do subscribe my channel and also press bell button for notification of videos to be uploaded in future. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.